Hello everyone, welcome Hi. to With The Bentley's channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now we've got some uh, advice for you. My name is Daniel. I'm Ricky. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, do all that good stuff that Ricky just mentioned to you. Obey her immediately because <laughs> I'm a husband and you better otherwise you're in trouble. All right. So um, yeah, today's topic is be careful of uh, your partner's opposite interests. Okay, this can be a big thing. Let's just explain the premise. Let's just explain what it is. Mm. Opposite interests. Well, let's just think very simply here. Let's say your your man, okay? Your man loves basketball, okay? But you don't love basketball. You never have, never liked it ever, 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 ever. But you like dancing. Right. But what are you going to do? He loves basketball, goes and plays with his friends, spends hours a day training and uh, he's even got a career in it yeah you're a dancer you spend hours you're there you're training you have a career in it too what are you gonna do what should i do what are you gonna do because he's interested in that he's not interested in dancing and you're not interested in basketball i, I think mm. it, it can definitely work so don't hold off okay don't hold off. Don't be worried thinking, oh, well, you know, he likes basketball. I don't like basketball. I just want to be doing this. It's okay to have opposite interests in a relationship. And it's important that you know that. It is important that you know having opposite interests in a relationship is okay. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because um, you can like what you like, isn't it? Nobody's the same. Mm -hmm. What if it's like this then? Your husband is vegetarian okay right and you love meat well you know i've got a real life story about it my mom she's a vegetarian um, my dad loves meat um, my dad loves lamb but my mom the most hate like out of all the meat the one she couldn't bear is lamb mm -hmm. but they married for like 30 years but, uh, there you go um actually no 30 years th um, 30 they married for 37 30, 30 years. 30-something years, guys. Yeah. Then you can make 37 years also if you follow our advice. Yeah. Now my dad, he's quite considerate. So if he wants to eat lamb, he never really eat at home. He'll just go to a restaurant. And my mom, um, she'll compromise. She'll cook whatever he likes for him, but she probably won't eat the same meal. She'll just cook something on the side for herself. But th that's how they do it. Interesting opposites can work you've heard mm. the theory opposites attract now you might be you might be concerned because you think to yourself you know there, there is a there is a point of concern which yeah. i'll just raise okay yeah. is uh disloyalty now if your man is spending so much time away from you and you're spending so much time away from him mm. the chance can come where they're going to meet somebody else okay that yep. can happen something you need to be aware of and something that does happen all the time, happens all the time, all the time, okay? So it's something you need to be aware of if you're in a relationship, and you're not sure, check the person out, make sure that you're with the person, you should be with the person. And if you like them, you know, don't just rush into the relationship, yeah? Bide your time, get into a relationship that's safe and secure, you love each other desperately, yeah? And with that foundation, that's gonna make it stronger to go and do other interests. But the yeah. thing is, you don't want to be spending too much time away from your partner anyway. Long distance relationships never work. If he's touring off to New York, go with him. Don't just leave him there because it's going to be trouble. Hmm. Simple as that. Especially if he's a basketball player, like I mentioned before. 100%. Because basketball players probably get like those uh, cheerleader women just throwing themselves at him. <laughs> What's he going to do? Oh, my wife's thousands of miles away. <laughs> do you see what I mean? recipe for disaster <laughs> so long distance relationships don't work be together that's what you decided to be in the first place was to be together so be together then spend your time together right yeah tr also try to develop some interest that you both enjoy as well yeah take her to the movies everyone loves the movies yeah. also, also like it, it, it doesn't need to be basketball or dancing it, it could be, be something else maybe run together yeah, or just like just crash anything. around in cars and stuff everyone loves that everyone Tra loves Every everyone loves near-death experiences. Yeah. <laughs> I 
think is going off the road. <laughs> you can't say this. Is, say well, guys, if you're dating, <laughs> you know what the first date should be. A good old skydive. <laughs> well, maybe Without a parachute. skydiving <laughs> together is not, it's not a bad idea. No. Well, that is the topic for the date. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, guys, guys. Like and subscribe, please. Yeah, do all that stuff she said. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Yeah, and uh, you can make it. Fear not. Fear not. You can make it. Yeah.